Hello, section three. I'm going to be commenting a little bit on your uh, research study pages as well as the overall theme of your blog and a little bit about your about pages. Uh, my goal here is to help you create the most effective uh, study pages so that when people come to your uh, blog, they are able to learn the most that they can about the study, about who you are, and you'll be presenting the study pages in a way that's going to be most effective for them. That's including linking to, the, to certain places, it's including incorporating things into the text, uh, having multimedia content, uh, stuff that really makes the page alive and gets people interested in what they're seeing. I'll also be talking a little bit about the layout of your blogs and also about your about pages. I'm just going to be going through them in alphabetical order, as you can see, according to the titles of the blog. And we're just going to be starting here with a real-world bachelor. <clears throat> Uh, the theme is, is very nice. It's a clean, very clean, nice layout. Uh, we will have to start getting some sidebars in here. I'm not sure if your theme has them on the, the bottom or, the t or on the side, but we will actually uh, need to get them uh, in here. I'm not really a huge fan of these kinds of menus because actual additional clicking seems very strange to me, but they do seem to be becoming uh, popular. A quick look at your About page, and uh, we can see that uh, it's a very nice little about page. You might link to the real world and to The Bachelor. Okay, The more linking that we have in our sites, the more effective they are uh, because they are bringing, they are giving people the opportunity to actually go and learn more about what you're discussing. Okay, uh, Each of your about pages should uh, uh, link to your study pages in some way. So you will, she will be researching, that could be the link to the real to the your study page and so on. So please uh, do add those as well. Uh, here, when we say follow her on Twitter, um, sometimes people will see this and think that it's actually going to Twitter itself. When it is going to the, as we can see, it's going to your your account. Uh, you might say follow her, and then just at what your username is. And this would apply in, in your blog, in your study pages as well. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at Olivia's page. It's a nice start for, for, uh, for the Bachelor page. Um, I like your, your description. I, I, a little bit more exposition would be uh, nice. I do like your summary of what is happening here. It's, it's concise, but it's perfectly fine. Uh, you might link to Martin Hoxie's tag 6.0 so people can go and see what they are, are discussing. Uh, you can link to Rowan University and Elementary Ed and the Writing Arts pages if you would like, uh, if you think that people who come to your page would be interested in seeing that. Uh, the Bachelor, uh, you would certainly want to link to that web page or a Wikipedia page or a fan page or link multiple times. You want, you'll definitely want them to, to see that. Also, for people who might not be familiar with the hashtags uh, that are coming, the tweets with the hashtags, you'll want to link to that as well, and perhaps even Bachelor Nation, uh, since you are, you are mentioning it. I do like that you are including the multimedia here, and I, I assume that you're including this video because it's for the 2015 preview, and um, I assume that you're embedding this tweet because it has to do with the, uh, the how often people are watching the back, so I'm not sure who Robert Mills is. So, <clears throat> but I would try to incorporate these into the text. Here at the bottom, they're just sort of dangling here, and we're not completely sure why they're actually being incorporated. I mean, they're related, so that's one thing, but we want to see them really seamlessly integrated to the content. So please move them into here and make it clear why we're actually looking at these different things. If you're talking about the 2015 season, then boom, we can have the video for it. If you're mentioning ratings, boom, we have the, the tweet. But overall, this is a nice uh, start. I think it could be a little bit longer, but um, that's, it's, it's, a good, it's a good beginning. Uh, let's take a look at the real world. Uh, I like how you got the little customized header here. That's, that's great. Same things with Olivia's linking to various spaces, uh, the, the skeletons and so on. Uh, here, uh, we, we saw the linking of the word here on Olivia's page, and we see that throughout the web. Unfortunately, linking the word here is not always effective, especially for people who are blind and using screen readers, because the word here is not a descriptive, uh, descriptive what we're going to be actually seeing uh, when they would click on the link. 
A more effective might be a sentence that reads, the course description explains how this course, blah, blah, blah. And then just link to, you know, make the phrase course description what people click on, because then they know that they'll be going to the course description. So if you're finding that you're linking the word here, I would change that and try to make the thing that you're linking to the descriptive phrase that is actually uh, linked. Like you're doing here, more specifically on our main research assignment page, which links directly to the study page. So that's a great example of that. Uh, you might also say, feel free to reach me and then just at Samantha Regina and make this clickable. Okay, um, Two paragraphs is, is okay. I would love there to be more multimedia, more just making the pages more fun. These all three of your study pages look very similar um, and that's okay because it's on the same theme or the same blog but I also would like them to have some to show that you're having a little bit of fun with this. Uh, even if you're not, you know, try to get that in there. And as with Olivia's, try to incorporate images into the the content in a way that is is completely seamless. Uh, let's move on. Where's the, the oops? We'll move on to the other study, bachelor study. So we have two bachelor studies here, and here this is Desiree's, and I like that you've linked to the the bachelor. And um, I like how you're integrating this image in here. I'm not completely sure what this is. I guess this is The Bachelor, although this could be an ad for white t-shirts and jeans. Uh, but I'm imagining that this is actually The Bachelor. Uh, you know, you are able to add a caption underneath your images. Uh, if you click on the, in, the, in the dashboard area, you, you click on the image and you get an option to, uh, if you go to the edit area, make an add a caption, uh, you might do that so we actually know what we're looking at here. Because someone who is not aware of The Bachelor, like myself, has no idea this could be a gap ad, right? That's just how it, how it seems to be. A little bit more discussion about why you are a great fan of The Bachelor would be, would be great. <clears throat> I like your, um, I like the little smiley face in here. Things like this where you add a little personality to the post. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, really enhance this for, for readers. I'm not really sure why it's a good thing that he did. Hmm, excuse me, my third. So you might, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, build on that a little bit, a little bit more, okay? Uh, it's great that it is your favorite. You know, why is it your favorite? Go on, discuss that a little bit, a little bit more. And I like that you are discussing the assignment page. That's fine. Uh, we need a period at the end of this. The little flower at the end is also a very nice, a very nice touch. So overall, a nice theme for the blog and three good starts for the uh, for the study pages. Uh, as for uh, this theme, this theme uh, is a big fan with with students. It it's nice because the the it's readable. The font is big. The layout is clean. The header is just so darn large. It's just it's just saying, oh my goodness, look at this this huge header, and it makes everything else secondary. There's a lot of scrolling, but it's fine if you actually, if you keep this. Uh, let's take a look at the About page. See, you can go all the way down here. Uh, these descriptions are much too short. We need, it's like boom, boom, boom. We really need a lot more uh, in here um, about you in a couple of sentences. Uh, it's nice that these are linking to your Twitter pages. That's great. I like that you're linking to each of the um, the hashtags on Twitter. I would also like you to, to link to your study pages so that people are able to go directly from here to the study page without going to uh, the different areas, going back to the um, menu. Okay, uh, this is a nice, descript very descriptive uh, study up study page. Uh, I like that you've sort of broken things down to first, second, and why you are a fan and why you're interested in studying this. I like the long discussion of what's going to be happening in this study. That is great. You might link to, uh, again, Martin Hoxie's page. That's That, that would be wonderful. Uh, you might link to the RTF program. Don't forget that you're writing arts minor, Jared, and you'll want to link to that or include that as well. Uh, linking to Breaking Bad, linking to Better Call Saul. Uh, this will, um, for people who are not fans of the shows or have not watched them, 
uh, it, you will be able to they'll be able to learn more by clicking on those links. Uh, the trailer for Better Call Saul is great. However, it's not included as part of sentence. Um, and now my enthusiasm for the great for great two has been renewed with the arrival of a Better Call Saul, um, or you can say even with the trailer of Better Call Saul, and then a colon, and then we actually have the trailer. So the video is incorporated into uh, the sentence. Um, linking to the studies being completed for an assignment in writing, researching technology, so you can highlight the word make the word assignment clickable rather than the word here as we were just discussing with the other blog. Overall, however, this is a really nice description. Um, I would not necessarily put your email on a web page like this. Uh, there are things called spiders which go out and hunt the web for email addresses and when they find them they start tossing spam your way. So you'll often see emails listed as like hussy16 and then the bracket at Students start and then dot Rowan dot edu with a full phrase dot written out. That's to try to trick those spiders, although the spiders are getting smarter. So I would just, you know, get rid of this. If they need to contact you, they'll contact you on Twitter. <laughs> this phrase, uh, that's, <laughs> do not make fun of me and hurt my feelings. Well, uh, I'm sure people will, will, will certainly do that. Um, so I'm not sure why exactly you include this phrase here, but if you want to keep it, that's fine, although it's certainly not uh, necessary. But overall, a nice uh, start to the, to the study page. Let's take a look at uh, Orange is the New Black study. Okay. Uh, Mohammed shows, hello, Michelle, and it's nice we have a little picture, although the picture might be more appropriate on the About page, to be honest. Um, one question I have is why everything is centered. None of the other posts here are centered. And then we have a left justified over here. So please go back and make sure that you are left justifying your content. Um, and here we have a double spacing going on here. I'm not sure why that is. Anyone who may have questions or, able, or want to chat is able to reach me through Twitter. Okay, And then we need to have a period at the end. Um, again, just like some of the other ones, linking to the show, maybe linking to Netflix and so on. Uh, this is a nice little description for why you are a fan of the show and that's that's great. There is no mention of the hashtag itself in your discussion. So please incorporate the fact that you are researching this hashtag and the community surrounding the hashtag itself so that then you can actually link to the hashtag. Um, the capital T for Twitter and you might add a little discussion of the tags and just basically more description. Okay? And also incorporate the image as a seamless description into the, uh, into the text. Okay? Uh, and then applying some of the other things that I've mentioned about the other, the other posts. The Walking Dead. Now, I will reveal that I started watching The Walking Dead the other day because I finished watching Archer. And I don't know if I can continue why it's gross. but the the, uh, the relationships and the writing are very very good um, so maybe I'll continue again you know, linking to writing arts linking to Rowan if you want to linking to The Walking Dead these are all things that people would expect to see uh, for the most part um, I would say a little bit more what we're from about why you love the show we are totally missing multimedia here we do have a nice smile um, and so I would, I would like you to incorporate some multimedia into this page because the blog really uh, wants you to be able to, to do that and adding links when necessary. Have questions? I'll be good to answer them. You can reach me just saying at xsportygirl2 with a period and we don't really need that, that, that separation. Okay. Um, it's, this is you're sort of having a little bit of fun with with the show, but I would encourage the writing to be even um, more fun. If you're linking to season five, link to season five. Tell us what happens. Although you know, it might say a little spoiler alert. Um, again, you're, the audience for this is perhaps people who don't who have never seen the show before. So you want to make sure that you are accommodating accommodating them. Okay, uh, common white girl. Uh, study. 
Uh, and this theme is very much like the other one. Uh, big header. Uh, let's take a look at your about page. This is a really nice about page. Uh, there's quite a bit of detail about each of the, uh, the women in, in, in the blog, about Gina, Rebecca, and, and Kirsty. Uh, I like the, the tone of the blog. Basically, the gist of our blog is to explore. I, I really enjoy that. Uh, I think that's a nice touch. Uh, the goal is to examine how the hashtags, it's, that's great. Um, we do need links to each of your study pages. And we might also consider linking to uh, the, the searches for each of these. Okay, but that's a real nice hashtag. I like the bold print. I like the layout. So that's a nice, that's a nice page. Uh, Common White Girl Study. There's a real conversational tone here, which I enjoy. Sort of sarcastic, which sort of builds into, I think, what's going on with Common White Girl. I would enjoy having the images included more into the text. You know, why are we using these particular images? Uh, they need to let us, they need to be there for a particular reason, okay? I like how you've got an urban dictionary definition that sort of explicates things for people. Um, and as you can see uh, with Google Trends, and you, you know, you don't even have to have this phrase here, as you can see here. It can, it's, it's been a trend since 2011, according to Google, could be what's linkable, and then you just take out the superfluous uh, text. Um, I'm not sure if you link to the web page. Yes, you um, you link to the common white girl Twitter pages. That's that's great. Grounded theory. You might include stuff here about tags, uh, 6.0 as well. And uh, again, the video here at the end could be incorporated more fully into the content. Although I suspect it has something to do with the Starbucks. I haven't watched the video in full. But this is a nice conversational. Uh, page that that sets up the study a little bit and gives us a, a description of what's happening. I might describe a little bit more about what this hashtag and what this user page is all about because I don't get a huge feeling about it. Uh, I see that it's uh, the definition here, but I'm wondering what people are posting to this. You might say a little bit about that at that at this time. Uh, education matters. So uh, Kirsty here has a lot of uh, stuff about herself. Um, and then there's also some things about Rowan. Rowan is definitely an interesting place. The college wants to know that it hasn't achieved this. Nonetheless, I still enjoy it. Enough. Um, I'm not sure this is the right place for this kind of discussion. Um, people are not coming here to learn, you know, what Rowan's goals are for the future or how it's achieved them uh, currently. They really want to know more about what's happening with Education Matters. So we need, to, I would remove this and, and bring in some stuff about this hashtag and what this hashtag is all about. Um, uh, a little bit more description and, and why this really matters to you. Having Nelson Mandela at the top, but really incorporate it. Why Nelson Mandela? Why is this important? Is it just because there's a quote here about education? Uh, so really incorporating the images with, with the content uh, is, is very important. Um, and we really we need links. You can link back to the course page. Uh, please feel free to contact me. Put the exclamation point after your username. Uh, if you want to use the exp exclamation point, uh, say who you, how you're going to be archiving the tweets. Basically, we need more detail significantly more detail about the study, why you're interested in the hashtag, and why you are, um, and, and, and what you're specifically using for the hash to, to complete, complete the study, and to remove this other stuff, which uh, might, it seems like is important to you, but right now, um, it's not as necessary for uh, the goals of this particular, particular page. Okay, let's move on to Epicurious, this page will make me hungry. <clears throat> And ciao, welcome to each. This is nice. I like how it started. Uh, I think you use ciao at, on the about page too, so there's a nice connection there. It's a nice series of images uh, that you've got. And I like how you put, uh, put them side by side. <clears throat> uh, when taking images from elsewhere, please make sure you are like these kinds of images that are not 
um, that don't have like are taken for a show, please give credit to the person who took these photos, unless you took them yourself, and then you can add that you have given you can give yourself credit. You do not need quotation marks around the hashtag. People understand that now as part of the sentence. Uh, just pound and the, and the phrase. That's that's fine. Um, breaking this up into different paragraphs would be nice. Um, and I think, like on Kirsty's page, we just really need more. We need more discussion of why you're interested in this, what are you doing in this study. Uh, you've set it up as a nice, fun space, but we really need to see that coming through more and to have it uh, be a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm going to end after these three blogs here, and I'll continue with the other three in another uh, screencast, which I will complete later today. Okay. If you have questions for me or you can't figure out how to do any of the things that I have suggested you do, uh, please let me know and I will get back to you right away. Okay, bye.